hands it off. Oh, a great play in the backfield for a loss by Ryan Shazier. He's almost like a running back at linebacker. He sees the crease, penetrates from off, and makes that play in the backfield. That was a huge stop. As the defensive quarterback, what are some of the little things you do? I know people probably don't know. You watch film with the scouts, different things like that, that you've kind of taken upon yourself to do so that you know as much as you possibly can. Uh, a lot of times I try to get in here about 6, 6.15, so I can just, uh, a lot of times I'll be in here a little bit before the scouts, but because I'm trying to uh, see everything that we do in practice, try to get a grasp of everything that the offense is trying to do to us. And so I just uh, watch as much film as possible to see if I see any uh, routines or rhythms that the offense normally has. And um, then when I'm out there, it just seems like second nature. How did that start? How did that go about you putting in that extra film work and working with the scouting department? Uh, I don't like giving them the credit, but uh, <laughs> Mike Mitchell, when I first got here, uh, well, mostly last year, um, I had I went to a few DB meetings. They used to have them at like 7.45 in the morning. Just learn everything that they're learning and see if we're all on the same page so we can all get on the same page. Cause then uh, Mike used to tell me that he used to watch film between our, our in our branch period. So I used to watch it with Mike and um, sometimes he'd come in early so I can calm down, eat, uh, settle down. And sometimes I, I pray and just like almost meditate by myself when I'm in there before I even get started. So then, and then I just start the process. Have you noticed a difference? Is it helping you? Oh, I definitely noticed a difference. Uh, I know uh, I wouldn't have caught that pick in the Washington game if I didn't. Uh, I feel like it just helps me understand and help me put everybody else in better position. When it's time to play defense, uh, sometimes I make checks and things like that because I know uh, in certain calls it's probably going to be better for us. With that role, do you still feel like a young guy or do you almost feel like you have to be one of the older veteran type guys because of those responsibilities? Um, it's, it's, a, it's a combination of both. Uh, I, I know I'm still a young guy, it's still a lot for me to learn and it's still a, a lot for me to experience out on the field so I can I'll just be more uh, vested and just more involved. But uh, I definitely feel like uh, it, it, it definitely helps out a lot when it comes to some of the guys that are younger than me or even my age or just a, a few years older, uh, sometimes I might see something from watching film. It really helps out me a lot and, and, and puts those guys in better position when I can. Four game losing streak. How do you get out of this? How is it? Is it as simple as just winning a game to maybe get that confidence back and get things going again? Yeah, I think it's, it's just uh, probably just winning the game. Uh, well, last week we lost a, a tough one. Uh, that one really hurt a lot. We just have to be more disciplined. We have to do a better job of understanding our responsibility, be more accountable to each other, and 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 just I think just getting a win under our belt to start everything back over. We'll start back five and five, uh, so that's basically zero and zero, and we just got to try to win out from there. Is it fair to say the Dallas loss was the worst one so uh, this season? Just the way it ended, could have had it, didn't have it, or yeah. Uh, I know a loss is a loss, but a loss is a loss. But the Dallas one really hurt because. A lot of people thought they had the, the hay in the barn, and Daddy always say the, the hay is not in the barn until he's in his car in the parking lot. So, uh, um, yeah, that one, that was definitely a tough one because we thought, a lot of people thought we had it. We found a way to lose it uh, a few games, so uh, we, uh, we got blown out, and um, those, those ones hurt too, but a, t a close one to me is always a little harder than when you're getting blown out. Unfortunately, you guys, four game losing streak, you also find out you're losing your defensive captain, Cam Hayward, for the rest of the season. How do you go about trying to fill that role that Cam plays, not only of what he brings on the field, but just as the leader of this defense? Um, it's, it's really hard. You can't really just replace a guy like that because uh, Cam is one of the best D linemen in the league. And, and when you take out one of the dominant run stoppers in the league, it, it, it causes people to think that there's an opening there. But uh, guys are just going to have to step up. I'm going to have to step up more. I'm going to have to do more myself. We always had a reason to try to try to be the best, but now we really have a reason to, to really try to make this season and, and uh, push this for camp.